First at five, an unexpected death at the VA Medical Center and a VA officer possibly exposed to an opioid and given naloxone. Two more reasons police, fire and EMS are working to change the handling of drug cases. Not on your sides. Tom McKee is live in Quarryville with this new information. Tom. Well, of course, the death, the cause of the death is undetermined right now. That officer exposed to that possible opioid, well, he was given Narcan and he seems to be okay tonight. But because of all this, new safety suggestions for first responders are out tonight on how to handle these situations. It was mid-afternoon Tuesday when a coroner's van pulled away from the VA Medical Center. A veteran was found unresponsive and couldn't be revived. The cause of death is under investigation. At the same time, a VA police officer may have been exposed to an opioid and was given Narcan as a precaution. Chief Tom Sinan of the Hamilton County Heroin Task Force says it's a reminder that first responders should go into situations thinking that they're dealing with dangerous drugs like fentanyl or carfentanyl. Take precautions like using special gloves. Those gloves protect you from the accidental needle stick, which then you don't have to go get HIV or hepatitis C testing, and there is less likely that you'll be transferred a drug into the actual blood system. Some people say drugs can dissolve latex gloves, but Chief Sinan says don't believe it. We recommend that when dealing with suspected drugs of any kind, that you wear latex gloves. If an officer is concerned that the drug may become airborne, then they, we recommend wearing a mask. And carry naloxone, as most first responders in Hamilton County have been advised to do. Chief Sinan says being prepared can save lives. Use these precautions and hopefully it'll give you a little bit more of an advantage when you go into these scenes. So then if you don't know, at least you were prepared. And if it was nothing, no big deal. We just get rid of the gloves and mask and we're good to go. Of course, it was just two days ago that Nine on Your Side reported of a new batch of overdoses, large numbers of overdoses. Chief Sinan says they possibly could involve another batch of fentanyl or carfentanyl. He advises everyone, first responders especially, to be very, very careful in handling any situation like that. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Coryville. Tom, thank you.